I am not an academic uh, or professional intellectual. I'm an empiricist. I found out what that meant from Dr. Peter Berger when I was a liberal civil rights uh, activist, and I met uh, Peter Berger, who invited me in to uh, sit with uh, J Vanden Hogg, James Q. Wilson, um, Bob Nesbitt early in the 70s to discuss conservative theories versus my uh, uh, em empirical experience. And I remember James Q. Wilson talking about if uh, economic analysis of how people change. If you change the incentives, uh, increase the incentives and the sanctions, and people will change. And he was applying this to reducing violence. And, and I listened and I said, well, my experience is uh, threatening a gang member with de uh, death is like uh, challenging a kamikaze pilot. Death is what they do. You have to first get people to invest in who they are and what they are before you then can threaten to withdraw it. That's a fundamental premise that, that uh, and so I got invited to come to the American Enterprise Institute and what attracted me to conservatism from liberalism is this willingness, to, as Dr. King said, the highest form of maturity is the ability to be self-critical. We need to be self-critical now more than any other time, as Josh has said. The clock is running. Um, as a, and, and so what I want to talk about is our response to the left's uh, 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 coming and attaching. They're, they're being like a parasite on the, on the rich tradition of the civil rights movement. And so since the left through 1619 project at the New York Times was using the black experience and also America's birth defect of slavery as the, the, the hijacking it, to use it as a bludgeon against the pr uh, principles and virtues of our founders, we felt that the messenger has to be black as well. So that's why I brought together Glenn Lowry, John McWhorter, a group of prominent black scholars, and not just black uh, conservative scholars. We have Clarence Page, who was an award-winning columnist, but he puts his values and, and, and passion for American values ahead of his liberal leanings. And there are others like that. And, and what we did, that we, we've assembled our essays to not as to enter a counter debate against uh, the left, but also as, as a, counter, a more attractive and inspirational and aspirational narrative. To, and, and we were attacking the fundamental proposition that the left has in terms of making a case for why blacks should be aggrieved. And that is the current problems of out of wedlock birth is 70% the violence, the high levels of unemployment are somehow related to the legacy of slavery and discrimination. <clears throat> that is a fundamental claim. And so what we did through our essays is go back into history and record the fact that when whites were at their worst, blacks were at their best, based upon the embrace of the, uh, of, of the centrality of the family, um, self-determination and, and, and our Christian values. One of our scholars looked at the records of six, of six major plantations. What were the family composition? 75% of all, all slave families had a man and a woman raising children. And there was a rush to marry after slavery. For 100 years, this uh, support for the nuclear family continued up until 1962. And even during the Depression, when, uh, uh, when the unemployment rate among blacks was 40%, 25% among whites, the, the United, uh, Depression, the, the black marriage rate was higher than any other group in America. Elderly people could walk safely in that community without fear of being assaulted by their grandchildren. Because of our Christian faith and, and, and our nuclear family and, and a commitment to self-determination, but, and also, as, as Tom Sowell recorded, poverty declined in 1940 from 82 percent down to 46 percent, and down to 1940 down another 15 percent. But all of this came to an end in the 60s with the programs of, of the poverty programs and then intervention, and we carefully detail that. And so what we believe the, the answer is, so all of the declines that you're seeing today have nothing to do with a history of slavery, but we document that uh, in our book, uh, Red, White, and Black. 
And, and, and so we believe that the way that America can, can um, move forward is that we have to change the messenger, that conservatives have to support blacks in, the present, in, in, in confronting this, uh, th this lie that they're telling about how we are suffering as a consequence of slavery. And so in our book, we believe that we can uh, make a case for American values, but the messenger has to be uh, black. And you have to stand with us. We must fund it. We must support efforts. We must support policies. We must support organizations in those institutions that are proving. Uh, one of the, the, the reviews of our book, oh, incidentally, we have developed uh, 12 uh, from our essays. We developed a curriculum that is being shared with Americans. We have 12,000 downloads in two weeks. Red, white, and blue, black sold out. We sold 15,000 copies in three weeks. And that is because America is thirsty for authentic information about how to push back against this race grievance industry. As, as, as Josh pointed out, the new patriots will be black Americans. It's black America has to stand up and say to the left, you do not represent us. The only way we can undermine the moral authority of the left is to permit those in whose name they are saying they're taking these actions to speak for themselves. We have a group called uh, the Voices of Black Mothers United. There are 2,500 black mothers who lost their children to urban violence. They are saying we are against defunding the police. We've taken out a full page ad in USA Today uh, saying we support the police. The, 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 the surveys found that 80% of blacks surveyed are against defunding the police. Only 60% of blacks said that racial discrimination is not a barrier to our way forward. So therefore, those who purport to be speaking on behalf of black America are a false prophets, and they are, they are screwing lies. And so it is important, though, for us to work together as conservatives and leaders in the black community to come together in a united front to remove race. We, our goal is to deracialize race and to desegregate poverty. That's our goal.